All right. Third season, Trapped in Limbo. Yeah. How quickly does she get now? <laughs> um, I, feel like I want to tell you guys everything, but you'll understand after the first episode. I'll say that we don't drag anything on longer than we need to. Okay. So, but it's been a year and a half. A year and a half in Limbo. What's that been like with that? Well, I think uh, the way the show sees Limbo is something that's really interesting. I think we do see that in the first episode. It sort of seems to be like a cycle. So imagine your worst nightmare and your biggest anxieties living that over and over and over in the loop. So she, is she able to see outside of the loop and recognize that she's got to get back to a life that she wants? Yes. So that's her sole like, motivation to come out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so she had regrets making that decision now that she's kind of had to endure all this? You mean going to limbo? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it's, it's a constant conflict for her. She, she really did make the ultimate sacrifice sacrifice by going back to wrestling people that she's wrong. And I think a big part of her dilemma is that are, are her doubts and the fact that maybe she made a mistake and really has no impact on this world wherever she is now. So I think that's something that is in her all the time. What's her strength in her? What's really, besides the motivation to get away, what's her strength that she's clinging to? Um, well, I think one thing that Sally's learned in, in a way that she's learned throughout the last two seasons is she's so, and, become and quite so brave, you, I think, and I think it takes a tremendous uh, amount of guts and bravery to even in there, consider in going to, into this completely uh, unknown uh, world and, and just to fix and, um, these yeah, mistakes really that she's made. So I think one thing is gave it that time she's really recognizes in herself like this newfound bravery and is sort of clinging to that. On a lighter note, what's been the funnest thing about playing Sally at this point in her journey? At this point, if they just wrapped up tight. Honestly, I love seeing her grow. I really see, especially looking at the scripts in the third season, I've, I feel like I'm reading a different character, and that is so exciting for me. Like, I love seeing change in characters, and I feel like our writers are so amazing with that. It's been, it's been really exciting. Okay, assuming she gets out of limbo at some point this season, what's going to be like her one thing she's going to really love to be able to do again? <laughs> um, hmm. I think just talk with the guys and just talk about nothing and not worry about these life and death dilemmas that she's been going through for the entire second season. I think just that little piece of normalcy, why she wanted to stay with the guys and found a family with them in the first place is the fact that it's a connection to this human world that they lost. And I think she all she wants is to get back to that. She's looking for like Saturday night, right? Night, night, yeah, for sure. Life. Yeah, just she misses her family. Yeah. Okay, and what would you describe as the theme of the season. The theme of the season is be careful what you wish for. So, <laughs> I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. Do you? Yes. Do you know what's happening? I do. And I'm, okay. Yeah. So, okay. So she wished to correct the, the wrongs of her past. Now she's gotten there. She's like, okay, maybe that's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And I think, you know, Sally is always on this mission to, I don't know, to, to find something a lot of their to get to this to a new stage. I think she's always just trying to so, so if you have live a life that is okay with her that is happy. But what's ironic is what she considered to be happy in her life when she was alive is something completely different now. And I don't know if for any of these people they'll ever be truly happy in the way that they consider happiness to be in their life before these supernatural afflictions happen. Okay, well thank you for your time tonight. We're looking forward to getting her out of Linda. Yeah, I know. <laughs>